Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your love short, your love short for this week. Love short, baby love short. So it's like love shack anyway. Anyway, uh, moving right along. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So, Virgo. Or did I say Libra? Who the hell? What sport am I doing? I don't know who I'm reading for at this point. Let's see what comes out. Let me see. Who am I reading for? Virgo or Libra? It says Scorpio. Um, Virgo or Libra? Virgo or Libra? Okay, we got Virgo, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, Virgo. Let's see what's going on for my Virgo. What's this love short about for Virgo? I swear I was shuffling off camera for Libra. But now we shifted the energy for Virgo. Eight of Pentacles coming out again. Okay, so Virgo, it looks like you are working on yourself, work, working on developing yourself, bettering yourself, trying to start a business, trying to make something work for you. Maybe even get reserves for yourself in terms of your money, and in terms of your finances. Um, you, you're trying to start something here. Um, this is a love reading, so it looks like something has been cyclical with you and a person. Like It just goes in a cycle. It goes round and round. Mm. Okay. I won't do that again. Um, yeah, so something goes round and round for you and someone else. Um, I don't know, you have times where it's really good and then it's, it's just kind of, it grows a little stale, it grows a little off. Um, the Eight of Pentacles, it seems as if you, you feel like you need to work on you. You, you feel like you put a lot of time, energy, effort behind this person. You're the one more invested in the connection here. Um, and you're not getting a significant return on your investment. So it looks like you're going to kind of draw all of your energy into you, on you. Um, that will be the best investment, or the best investment idea or opportunity um, to invest in you and not in this connection here. Because it seems unstable at best. It seems... Uh, hot and cold. It seems as if there's a lot of work to be done here. Let me see what else is going on. The nine of pentacles, nine of cups. It seems as if you're wishing, you're hoping, and you're praying for the opportunity to be with this person, or the opportunity to have maybe a life with this person, um, maybe the opportunity just to have some luxury or some uh, some leisure time. Maybe even with this person or for yourself. You're trying to maintain your emotional stability outside of this connection too. The King of Pentacles. This could be your husband. It could be um, yeah, a masculine figure here. Somebody who's um, maybe well-to-do, has money, has resources, uh, takes care of themselves, makes decisions based on the whole. Uh, it could be your father. It could be a man in your life. It could even be you showing up, uh, Virgo. With the King of Pentacles here, it says that some masculine energy will give you some really good advice um, about business. Not exactly love, because that's not this person's expertise here. Of the magician here, it looks like you are trying to bring about something here. You're trying to use all of your resources, all your manifestation power. You have the idea of how you want things to go or how you want them to manifest. Um, and you're trying to use your words, use your energy to bring it into a realization. Right now, it's just in the 5D. It's in your mind. It's in your head. It's in your heart. But you want to bring it into real realization, into reality. It says with the magician, use your words wisely. Uh, play your cards right in terms of the specific connection uh, job business whatever you're in the page of swords yet yeah, use your words wisely and refrain from petty arguments choose your battles okay um someone could be pushing you or trying to push your buttons 
there's a need for emotional uh, maturity to happen here and for some tact and um, class to, to be instilled in the way you communicate with another person. There's a lot of forwardness and straightforwardness, bluntness in your communications between you and another person. There also could be some spying. Yeah, I think at this point, it's just more so with the Eight of Wands coming out. Somebody's obsessed with the idea of of how the relationship should be going, of what we should be doing, of what milestone we should be crossing, what we should yeah somebody's obsessed with it here infatuated with the idea of having of merging of coming together somebody's a little upset with the mystery of it all they want to know what is going on justice card could be dealing with the libra it says that a decision will be made either way karmic justice will be had what's due unto you will be given to you what's due unto the other person will be given unto them karmic the karmic scales of the scales of justice will be balanced here if you feel like you were done wrong things will be made right if someone feels like you did them wrong things will be made right everybody's going to get what's due unto them if you feel like someone is being indecisive not making a decision the justice card says don't don't fret a decision will be made by way of the universe Okay, there's going to be repayment or karmic debt. So whatever you put out will come back unto you. The death card. And it could be an ending of a relationship or maybe the transformation of one. Things will transform into, not exactly sure, the knight of wands. It will transfer, maybe there'll be some creative, fast opportunity that you'll have to take a hold of rather quickly. Or this person will. The ace of cups here. Um... The Ace of Cups, the Page of Swords, new starts, false starts, no progression, just starting over, starting over. Knowing that I love you, Queen of Pentacles, knowing that I care for you, knowing that we're in a relationship of some sort, but I'm just not ready for it to progress. To progress, I'm not ready to progress in my maturity level. I'm not ready for progression. I'm not ready for stability. I'm not ready. It's just a lot of false starts here. The three of wands and a lot of waiting, a lot of anticipation. Someone wanted expansion and growth, possibly not getting it. Yeah, the two of wands, it just always gets reduced. It always gets to a place of friction and friskis, friskiness or a competition or competing wheels or goals you're not wanting the same thing. So there's competition or there's a fight or there's a duel or there's just um, heavy argument about a whole bunch of nothing, pettiness, it just out of the sheer fact that someone won't grow up, they refuse to grow up, they don't want to, there's no progression, there's a lot of competing wheels, goals here, you guys don't want the same thing. So there comes the instability of the connection. What's the advice for Virgo? The Seven of Swords. Um, the Seven of Swords says strategize. Okay. S strategize alone. Keep your plans to yourself. Your plans need revision. Someone's obsessed with the idea of how things should be going. Infatuated with it. But it says that your plans need revision here. The Seven of Swords. Keep your plans to yourself. Manifest by yourself. Do for self. Strategize go it alone try to go uncovered covert about your plans for yourself in terms of a relationship a business business partnership marriage um because it seems as if maybe another party is looking out for themselves too even if they tell you that they aren't you need to take on some of this energy here what fell you had a three of cups maybe even friends family or siblings can help you strategize can help you come to a plan um, to help you uh, be strong and make the magic happen for yourself. The seven talks about magic and mystery. That's what I got for you, uh, 
Virgo, some of you are trying to leave relationships and you're going to have to plan in secret. Some of you, um, you just need to reshape and refocus your future plans because it looks like it's not shaping up the way you want it to. You might be a little infatuated with um, things going your way in terms of a relationship, but it's just not. So you're going to need to redirect and refocus here. Take control of your own destiny with the seven here. All right. If it resonates for you, Virgo, go over to the website. Book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question. Also, you could donate to the channel by buying me a coffee, by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Virgo. Many blessings to you. Take care.